everyone, it's Shannon here for Honey Bee Stamps. In today's video, we are going to create this floral watercolor card, but believe it or not, we are not going to use a paintbrush at all. This card was created with tumble dual brush pens, spritzing some water, and then moving it around with an air blower. I'm going to show you how, so let's get started. For today's card, I'm going to be using the new framed anemone stamp set. This is a gorgeous floral set. I love the frame. That's really a unique design. I'm going to use a piece of Bristol paper. This is Bristol vellum paper. If you have Bristol smooth, that will work as well. This is a six by six panel of it. I made it a little bit bigger than an A2 panel because I just find that a bit easier size to work with for stamping this A2 image. I'm going to heat emboss this, so I did apply some anti-static powder, and I'm actually going to first ink this image up with intense black ink from Honey Bee Stamps. This is a really great black ink. I love it so much. After I stamped it a couple times, I'm then going to clean my stamp, but leave everything in my MISTI, my panel, my stamp. After I've got it clean and kind of dry, I'll then ink up the stamp in Versamark ink and stamp it. And I do stamp this a couple times just to make sure I got enough of that embossing ink onto my panel panel. I'll then pour on some clear embossing powder and then I will heat set this with my heat tool. This clear embossing powder is going to provide a nice resist for our water coloring but it'll also create this really pretty shine and a tiny bit of dimension. I really like to do this with water coloring. So after I poured on that clear embossing powder I'm going to heat set this with my heat tool and then we will be ready to do the water coloring. And now that my panel is heat set, I'm going to move on to my coloring. Starting with my Tombow Dual Brush pens and these leaves, I'm going to color these leaves first with a light green and then I'll move to a darker green, darker green. Coloring the tips of these leaves with that light green and then this dark green and kind of coloring at the base of the leaves. This is going to create a really pretty gradation when I spritz this with water. Now moving on to a yellow flower, starting with my yellow for the tips of the petals, then an orange for the center, and then a kind of light red for the base of those petals. That's going to again create a nice gradation. For my remaining two flowers, these are just going to use two colors, a red first for the tips of the petals, and then I'll move on to this really pretty kind of purple for the centers. And again, I'm not coloring these very, or not perfectly. I'm leaving lots of white spaces, not worried about gradations at all, or even really kind of shadows. Uh, because when we spritz this with water, all that ink is going to move around and really create beautiful blends. Now I'm going to use my spray bottle here and a rocket air blower. This is typically used or it's designed to be used to clean camera lenses, but we're going to use this to blast this panel with air and really move that water down ink. So after I spritzed my panel with some water and got that ink nice and watered down, I then go to my air blower and start blowing some of that watered down ink around to kind of fill in that background. And this just really creates a beautiful kind of loose painterly look. I really like this different way of coloring your flowers. We could definitely have colored these with Copics or even watercolored them and tried to make them really realistic. This is just a fun different way to color your florals. So after I kind of move that ink around, I'll then set that aside and let that dry. And now I'm going to move on to my sentiment. I have a couple of stamps from the Framed Enemy stamp set. I'm going to stamp them here onto black cardstock in Versamark ink. Then of course dip this into some white embossing powder and then heat set this with my heat tool. Really make a very clean and simple sentiment. So now that that's heat set, I went ahead and die cut that out with the matching dies. And now I'm going to move back to my panel because it's nice and dry now. I just set that aside to dry and it's completely dry. And I haven't colored the centers yet. I intentionally left those clear or didn't color those when I first colored this. Started with my yellow, then used a little orange and then a little bit of red to kind of finish up the center of those flowers. And these are the same colors I actually used on that yellow flower. So now that that's done, I'm going to move on to one final bit of coloring. Now this is definitely an additional step. You could totally skip this out or leave this out, but I really like adding this little gray shadow. I'm actually just going completely around all of my leaves and flowers with this gray. It kind of 
helps to pop, make them pop away from the background a little bit. It's a very subtle, subtle look or a subtle detail, but I really do like how it just gives it that little bit of dimension, that kind of faux dimension. So now that that's all colored, I went ahead and trimmed my panel down. And when you trim this down, you kind of are left with this like raw edge. And I like to clean it up a little bit by taking a black tumble door brush pen and just coloring the edge really quickly and that just really cleans it up and makes it nice and professional looking. Now that that's all colored, I'm going to adhere it onto an A2 top folding white card base. I'm just going to use my uh, precision glue here from Honey Bee Stamps, stick that down. And after that stuck down, I do use a little weight here just to kind of let it stick down, really get it flat. And after that stuck down, I'll then grab my sentiments, which I did add some foam adhesive to the back side, and then just stick them in the upper right corner, and that will actually complete my card. I now hold my card up to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details. I really love how this turned out. Love those bright, vivid colors from the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. And how cool is this very loose, painterly background and flowers? So easy to do. And of course, we did not use a paintbrush. We just used that air blower. So that's a pretty cool technique and a re really easy way to kind of approach coloring florals. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.